So I got a little surprise for Abby. We're gonna try the Civic Cat coffee, and I'm not telling her what it is. So. Welcome to 777 Heaven, or Tri-7 Heaven. We're still deciding on what we want to call that name. But, uh, Abby's here, Tom, and we've got little Kimchi, our puppy. And we named her Kimchi Molina, after Kim Molina, the actress. If you uh, look at her in the face when, when you pull her eyes back, right here back, her eyes pop out, and kind of looks like Kim Molina. She's a very good actress. Anyway, we are here, we're gonna try a coffee, and it's kind of a surprise for Abby because I didn't tell her what coffee, but let's get the coffee. So here we are with the coffee, let's pour some for her. Ooh. Pour some for me, a little bit more for her. Oh. So we, go. we got this coffee. You gonna take a sip, my dear? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. What coffee is that? It is the Philippine Civicat coffee. Ah. Yeah, if you're familiar with the Civicat, it actually eats the beans and then it poops it out. <laughs> and. I didn't think she was going to be so happy about it, but <laughs> anyway, it eats the beans and poops it out, and they take it, I guess they clean it, and they grind it up, and it's expensive coffee, we actually paid 1,270 pesos, which is well over 20-something dollars, was it? Yeah. $25. <laughs> About $25 for this Ooh, little bag. Yes, it's, yes, it is the poop Ooh. coffee. Now she's making a reaction. I don't like poop coffee. Maybe kimchi. It actually is kind of very mild to me. And from what I found out, it does have a, a lower caffeine due to the digestive fluids of the Civic Cat. Now the Civic Cat, also is starting to become an endangered species, I found out. So I probably won't be purchasing any more of this coffee because of uh, things I've been reading online about it. But it's, uh, they're, they're force feeding the Civic Cats coffee beans. And now I kind of feel bad about buying this stuff, but it's, it's already here and I'm just letting you know what I think of the coffee. It's very mild. It's nowhere compared to a lot of coffees that are out there, the stronger coffees, is very mild and bland. And since it's an expensive cup of coffee, from what I was told, people pay $80 a cup here in the United States. And as you know, I paid $25 for that little bag. And it's a six ounce bag. Normally, the bags here come 12 ounces. So it's double the price and half the coffee. You can drink mine. So what did you think of the flavor of the coffee? It's good, but I don't like the idea that it came out from a butt. Well, you've eaten a lot worse things. 
and Poor I've, thing. I've seen her eat some, I mean, she eats fish stomachs. That's a Philippine uh, delicacy. No. They, they love the milk fish and they love eating the fatty stomach and the eyeballs. So what I found out about Civic Cats after I already purchased this coffee, which like I said, I won't purchase it again. They, they do keep them in cages. They are force feeding them and they are kidnapping the animals from uh, the wild. So the first time I went, I saw the coffee in the Philippines. I, the whole year later, I regretted it, not buying it. And then when I was there the last time, I went and I, I bought it. And now I'm kind of like, I drank it, tried it. I wasn't happy about the price, but I'm a lot more not happy about what I found out about the Civic Cats. But it's not really worth the price. It's a very bland, mild coffee. If you guys are interested to try, you can find it in Mall of Asia in the Philippines. In at Cultura. What? 1,200? That's too much for a coffee poop. It's 1,270. And then the name of the company like is over... Cultura. Like culture, but it's probably like a Spanish word. Well, we're going to leave you with a that information and we're gonna end this vlog here and uh, cheers and peace out like subscribe click the bell please